Looks like the Little Mermaid will finally be where the people are at ABC. I'm Sasha Pearl Raver, and this is Screen Junkies News. Fox has a Christmas story and rent, something I feel very strongly about, and NBC has Jesus Christ Superstar. So it was only a matter of time until ABC decided to jump into that live musical game and just kiss the girl. The network owned by Disney has greenlit the wonderful world of Disney, The Little Mermaid Live. It will be a two hour special event that will hit our TVs October 3rd, giving audiences a mix of live action performances weaved into the original 1989 feature. Here to talk with me about this are Mary Risk and Danielle Radford. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. I really wish you could just sing this entire show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start by talking about good idea, bad idea. Mary, good um, or bad? I think good idea. I think it's a unique idea. Obviously, there's been a whole trend of live musicals on TV recently. Mm -hmm. And the way that they're doing this by using the original animated feature, I think, is a unique approach that makes sense for this particular movie. Sure. Danielle? Yeah, I've like never cared about any of these live action movies before. <laughs> and I am uh, I am so ready to get my Under the Sea on. Like I cannot contain myself oh. with how ready I am to. Interesting. Yeah. So, so I mean, ready. It, I wish I could be bad cop. There's no bad cop here in me. I guess, get what? Uh -oh. Bad cop. Hot take. Oh, bad to, cop. Hot take. I'm about to come in hot. But first, let's actually, so NBC kind of started this whole thing when they got Carrie Underwood to do Sound of Music. And yes. then they had yeah. Allison Williams playing Peter Pan and I think the most successful one that has been done actually was when they did Grease Live. Yeah. yeah. Which was when NBC, like I thought that one was far and away the best because I think it fit the format the best. Yes. I also thought it was the most well-produced. It was from the director of Hamilton. I just, I thought it was really, really well done. So we're about to talk about why this is a good or bad idea, specifically because the Hollywood Bowl did a version of this last summer. The Hollywood Bowl played the movie, and then they would, when they got to a musical break, they would bring out somebody like Sarah Bareilles, mm. or uh, I want to call him Titus Andromeda, but that's not <laughs> yeah. his actual name. Titus Burgess. Thank Thank you. Burgess. Thank you. Titus yeah. Burgess. Um, or John Stamos, or Darren Chris, and they would sing the song that we wanted to hear from Ursula. Rebel Wilson did Ursula, which yes. was really fun. Yes. Uh, fun. Darren Chris was Prince Eric, Sarah Bareilles was Ariel. And I'm sitting there, I'm so excited to see it. And it's basically what this is gonna be. It was yeah. they showed the movie and then they had musical performances. <laughs> totally what this is gonna be. And honestly, I went to that Hollywood Bowl too. show. I went and it was amazing. I hated every second of it. Oh no! I was so upset. Every time Sarah Bareilles would come out and sing, I was like, shut up! <laughs> Make the movie! I want the movie! Hashtag not my Ariel. Hashtag, no, it was hashtag not my Prince Eric. <laughs> Daring Chris, I said this before we started. I was like, find the key, find the key. I will give you a ways direction, a map, a flashlight, a compass, find the key. I hated it because I grew up with this musical. Danielle, before we started, you were saying this is one of your favorite of all time. Oh, girl, I had like this little step stool thing. I was telling Jordan's, the producer's laughing at me. <laughs> this, is the, this is the nerdiest story. And like, as I would watch it, like on my TV in my room, when she would do the thing, like, I wanna be part of you. And then she goes out and she does like the thing. I would like, little baby Danielle was like, I also would like to be part of a world. <laughs> if that was on YouTube, I would have so many hits. I have never loved you more. <laughs> and that's saying a lot. That is. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I loved oh. it. I, Ariel, Ariel right here, like that's, everyone has like their Disney princess. And that's Ariel yours? is my girl. Oh. I roll, look, I roll hard for Ariel. I mean, so, she's amazing. She is amazing. And you know what I actually realized watching the movie, because I hadn't seen the movie in a while, is she also was a terrible role model. Because she's 16 oh, and she's like throwing away all of her dreams just so she can be with a guy. She hasn't <laughs> no, even had a okay, conversation. Okay, time out, Running away from home. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. <laughs> my <laughs> defense of Ariel, and actually I wrote a paper on this in high school. Oh, good. Um, actually, she doesn't <laughs> throw her life away for a dude. She like wanted to be human like totally before she met Hottie Prince Eric. That is true. So true. he just like helped her realize her like feminist goals. Okay, that's a stretch. But <laughs> that's it. That's her. I still love this ball. movie a lot. I love this movie too. And the other thing I realized, it was like it was totally me being an adult. Suddenly, it was not about Prince Eric. It was grown up Sasha being all about King Triton. King Ooh. Triton King getting King Triton is hot. And I realized King Triton does get it because all of his daughters look totally different. They all have different baby. Mamas. I think I like 
about eight daughters. Oh, oh and yeah. they all, none of them look the same. Yep, yep. They, <laughs> just kidding. None of them look none like them. him, so we no. know they all look like their mama. That's right. And where are all their mothers? Exactly. Just saying. That's really I, we why don't, Ursula we don't is know, so mad. Yeah, oh. we don't know how marriage works in the, under the Sikh kingdom. Yes. We don't know how many of them wives and concubines <laughs> King Triton was allowed but to what have. what would happen is, is okay. they're playing the movie, and I'm like, this is the best, this is the best, and here it comes, and it sounded so different. It did. And I was like, Mm, it's not the same and I got really frustrated because I wanted the original version. You don't want the karaoke version, you want the OG version. And to yeah. be fair, there was a child in the row in front of me that like, this kid was probably four or five and the whole time that we're at the Hollywood Bowl, she keeps turning to her mom and she's like, what are they doing? Like, I want Ariel to sing, like, what is happening? I didn't know I was sitting in front of you at the Hollywood Bowl more than I was five years old. Because, oh, Ariel looks yeah. so distraught. Oh, that was what I looked like too. But well, me, but my voice, the oh. whole book is about my voice and now yeah. it's somebody else. Well, I you know you're that. getting old when you're like, girl, you are sick. 16 you need to go home to your father you like do. it's mm -hmm. it's you know it's one of those things that i think having seen the movie so many times i did still enjoy other people's performances especially john stamos oh the john chef, stamos was amazing, was amazing as the chef. he was but, you know so i mean bad. rebel wilson does not have the same quality to her voice that pat carroll who voiced the original ursa yeah. had and it's just like you're not going to find that's such a unique vocal quality you're not going to find an actress who has that so going into this you have to expect that it's going to be a celebrity's take on it it's not going to be your little mermaid but if you just wanted to watch your little mermaid then like you can do that at home pre-recorded oh mary that is actually yeah. a really positive now i'm like you you're pulling me over to your yeah. side i like this well why why do we think it took ABC so long to get on this bus? Because it's obviously proven very successful. They have a crazy back catalog. Well, I think if what? you look at a lot of, because a lot of the Disney properties have been turned into very successful stage musicals, mm -hmm. or at least stage musicals within the parks. I mean, you know, Frozen hasn't come to Broadway, but it's an hour-long musical at Disney California Adventure, and it's amazing. Please go see it. <laughs> um, but it, it's one of those things that I think a lot of their properties are such extravagant stage musicals. Yeah. Like Mary Poppins, for example, they run around on the ceiling of the auditorium. Mm, it's that's like cool. putting that on TV, you're gonna lose that gravitas, that effect. Right, and also they're doing live action stuff in theaters mm -hmm. right now, and I think yeah. so much of their focus has been, you know, get the live action versions of these movies in theaters that they haven't been like, oh, well, before we do that as like a little pit stop, we can also make money here. Well, interestingly right. though, they are talking about doing a live action Little Mermaid. Lin-Manuel yes. Miranda is supposed to do music for Should it. Like, amazing. It's already kind of moving forward in production, so so I think that they're this is an interesting take because they're not really doing what NBC does, which is a full staged musical. Right. Because I think that Mary Poppins actually would make sense to be televised if they did the Peter Pan NBC version. Mm -hmm. Right. But because they're doing a different model, they're showing the movie, which they already own, and then they're going to get big celebrity names, like you said, to come in and sing some of the songs. Yeah. It's a different route. It's a nostalgia fest. And I like that. Now, if this is successful, which... Maybe. May or may not be, honestly. It, it, right. It's probably going to be very successful. <laughs> what do we want to see happen next? Danielle, what's the next musical that you want for, like, your sit down in front of the TV fun <laughs> yeah. time? And your step stool. My little stool. Well, I think that, like, you know, going back to some of the things we were talking about where, like, you don't want the karaoke version of it, I think that Frozen's, like, right there. Because oh. you can, like... You can get all of those people to do that live. And yeah. that Kristen Bell wants, wants to. Up. Kristen Bell wants, she wants to. to. Uh, every single one of those people in that movie is available and ready I to would do love it. I love that. Yeah. And then it would still like retain any kind of qualms people would have about it, the authenticity of it and just switching it around, you wouldn't have to worry about because all those folks are just right there. That would be That's a good call. Honestly, Disney, listen to Daniel's giant brain. Because that I would watch in a Heartbeat. That would be so awesome. Gotta, and Adina Menzel, aka mm. Adele Dazeem, would crush. <laughs> crush. Crush. What do you want to see, Mary? I want to see Tangled. Aww. I love Tangled. I feel like it's one of those that just like didn't get its due in theaters. Totally. Also, they spent so much money on this movie. The animation that they developed for Frozen, they actually developed for Tangled. And so it's like, you know, you save some money on Frozen by using all that same computer programming. And I personally, like, it came out when I was the exact right age for me to see it. It was like, I was like moving away from home and like becoming an adult. And I was like, Rapunzel's doing it too. Yes. <laughs> and it's like growing up with Disney princesses, I think there was like a lot of nostalgic connection there. Um, but also, that's one that has really fun songs and has a lot of characters singing. Yeah. So, you know, mm -hmm. you have the whole I Have a Dream song with, like, they had Jeffrey Tambor in it and all these different really fun people. I think it'd be an opportunity to bring in a lot of comedians and have just, like, a really, like, rocking good time on live TV. <laughs> and also Mandy Moore, who oh, is so oh, great on This Is perfect. Us. 
she again is super available super available well amazing and like kind going of. all the way back to like candy like she's the bomb her voice is so great i'm I, craving for you i'm craving i'm this missing is just, you like candy that's all it's gonna be oh come oh. on get it in anymore <laughs> oh. I, and zachary levi i mean he's hosting he's like a comic con show and he could totally yeah. do it yeah. he and i show up and be flynn rider he's in thor right now but like he could do other stuff he still has time they yeah. i'm pretty yeah. sure he's they good he's good well time. i have a sort of out of the box pitch for this one but i would like to see a blending of a film that i love and a show that i love so i want you guys to basically take the puppy bowl do you guys watch the puppy bowl, yes. the puppy bowl. Yeah. yes i want yes. you to take the kitten halftime show of the puppy bowl <gasps> and marry it with the aristocats i want that. yes that's yeah. what yep. i want and it can be yep. like jazzy kitten bowl aristocats getting down doing some stuff and then you know we can adopt the cats at the end. Say, this should all be adoptable oh, oh, yeah. and abc I bequeath this idea to you. Go forth and make that happen for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, now that we've talked about this, I really hope that The Little Mermaid is super successful. I, I really too. hope that now we get to see all kinds of fun stuff. And these ideas, I would totally watch a Tangled one. I, would, I think Frozen one would be genius. And I think there's other things in the backlog, like a Mary Poppins, if they go the NBC route, could yeah. be really cool. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and you know, I think it's a good way for them to efficiently and cost effectively revisit some of their old properties in a way that's going to be engaging to new audiences. Mm -hmm. And as they're looking, you know, you look at their schedule for the next 10 years or whatever, they have all these unnamed, unannounced, like Disney live action movies. It's like, hmm, this could be a really good way to test what the audience wants to see yeah. and test the market. Absolutely, and what people respond to. And we want to know what you respond to. What film would you like to see turned into a musical on ABC coming straight to your TV? Let us know in the comments below. You can tweet us at SJ News. Make sure to like and subscribe. And of course, you can always click here for more Screen Junkies news. Make good choices.